So hello everybody, in today's video we're going to talk about the integration between Teams and Power BI that they released on Ignite 2020 in September. And uh, you asked me to make a video, and here it is. Let's get started. Okay guys, you asked me to do to show you how the new integration features work in Teams and Power BI, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So the first thing that we need to do is actually to put this thing together, right? So to bring the Power BI app into Teams. And I'm gonna show you, there are two ways to do it. The first way is as a user, you go in here and you search for Power BI. They are rolling this out. You might not have it, so wait a little, okay? Power BI, click on add. It will ask you to log in. I've already logged in, so you won't see it. And this will bring an icon here, Power BI icon. If you wanna keep it there for every session, just pin it and then it will start there. Now, if you are an admin and you want to have this rollout for everybody, so what you do is you go to Teams Admin. There is an admin.teams.microsoft.com. Then you go to Teams App and set up policies. You go to the global organization and then you can add it as a pin app. So you can put it there, Power BI. It'll show up there. <laughs> add, add, and then suddenly it will show up as a pin up for everybody in the organization. Neat, isn't it? Save. Remember to save, obviously. So now that we have it, global organization, anybody in your team will see the Power App, Power BI app, so they don't have to do it individually. Neat. Now, let's go to the next feature. Um, now that you have Power BI in there, you can click Let's go back to Teams. So this is Teams. If you go into Power BI, what you are going to see, the experience is actually you're going to get powerbi.com embedded into Teams. And I am not a big fan of powerbi.com. I think the service is quite messy. There are things everywhere and apps and workspace and it's just messy. So this is not the best experience, but if you are using Power BI since a while, you might be able to navigate this anyhow. So this is home, this is Power BI home, what you get in there. And then you can click in there and you can interact the same way as you do with Power BI. You can discover all the data sets, you can go to all the reports. This is, for example, an app for the billionaires uh, report that I did a few years back. You, know, you can navigate everything, you can go back home, and you, you can search for stuff. So you get the, the, the Power BI in Teams, basically. Um, that is not the neat part of everything. I, I don't think that this is like super useful, but the actual integration between Power BI is a lot more powerful if you do something else. There are two things that you can do. For example, on Teams, and this has been available for quite a while, if you're here in Teams, you can add a Power BI file report onto your team. So let's say that you have a sales and marketing team. Then maybe you want to have the report just related to sales and marketing and not everything else. And you can do that the way I'm doing here. I'm embedding the DAX Fridays Power BI report that I'm giving to you guys. So to do that, you just go to there, go to Power BI, and then you just search for the app that you want to have. In this case, it's this one, and then you just add it, right? And I think that this is a better way to, to work with the integration between Power BI and Teams. Something else that you can do once you've integrated these two, which I think is quite neat, is look at this. You have to, if you write on search in Teams, at Power, oh, Power, BI, do you see it there? Click on there and then you'll see these. It means that you're now searching within Power BI and you can search for any database or any report or anything that you like inside Teams. I like it. I think this is nice. And this is a better experience than the whole Power BI service thing. So here I can, I don't know, look for um, mm -mm -mm -mm. To workspace, social media. Can I look for app? Yeah. So for example, I have here the Google Analytics app. I'm searching for it and it allows me to open it. I can maybe copy that and paste it in a link on a conversation. We're going to talk about that in a second. You don't need to do that. The thing about opening things, it opens in Power BI. 
so you leave teams and then you're which is a weird experience right if you are searching something in teams you want to show it in teams you don't want to have it in power bi so that i hope they will change so when i'm searching something it will go to this tab and show it there instead of taking it out of teams but that's fine now if you want to share report let's say we're in my team this is a fake team youtube uh, we go to posts and then say, okay, now I want to share in a conversation that we're having. No, oh, sales are up, sales are down, but you remember this product. You can say, okay, let's take a look at the report. Do you see in here, Power BI? Now, here's the thing I did not get this icon. And I tried everything. I, I tried to do it here. What you do here is your extensions to the chat thing. So here, find an app, Power BI, that didn't add anything for me. What it worked for me is to uninstall and install Power BI once or twice, and then suddenly I got this out of the box. So in case it doesn't show, because this is basically the same as going in here and searching for Power BI. So if you don't want to do that, you can just click in there and that allows you to search the same way that you search up here Power BI, right? And then you can search by billionaires and you go in there and then it will give you this style check this report out and then you get the cards the adaptive cards which are quite neat so again when you click open guess what happens i <laughs> will take you to power bi service in another tab and you force you to leave teams that, that i think that is a shame hopefully they will fix it very soon you can subscribe to the app and say like oh that was neat i would like to have that you can do the same thing with when you are having a meeting with somebody now i could not make this work but i'm going to show you in case so if you are joining a meeting you can join now and then on the conversation part, you can actually, let's see the connects, you can actually add the Power BI uh, report. So if you go in here, conversation, and then you click in there, you should be able to add the, the Power BI messaging extensions. I haven't been able to, I, it is disabled. I have Googled, I, I can't find it, so I don't know what to do. But here you should be able to, again, search for Power BI files, Power BI reports, Power BI workspace, anything you like. But it just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. This I tried a thousand times. Maybe it's rolling out. I haven't make it work, so yeah. What else we have? Um, find report share with folders here's the thing if you go here to power bi let me show you and again this will take us to power bi service and we go to our billionaires dashboard and report and I say hey it'll ask you to Here it happened to me when I was sharing with teams from Power BI, you have the same option. This is Power BI service, right? So you have these chatting teams. And what happened once was that this uh, share with people or share with teams did not work. And it showed up a ribbon that it says, try it again on the new window and it worked. So in case you don't get it right away, maybe it needs some kind of setup the first time. I don't know, but now it is working. So share to YouTube general, share close it doesn't take you there to where you share it which is a pity but it basically appears on your team's chat so this is in here and it doesn't have the nice experience that you have like with these adaptive cards you get a ugly link and join the conversation and who wants to click on that nobody this is a very experience hopefully they'll fix that but the neat thing about this is not not only you can share reports like that you can also filter them and share a filter report let me show you so we go back to billionaires again and then i am going to pick a report let's get the billionaires report that's fine so i am going to basically navigate through the report 
filter through a few things and share it. And you're going to see that what we are sharing is the filter version. So you have to be aware of that because maybe you're filtering to discover the data. You think that you're sharing the entire report. You're not. You're just sharing a filtered version of it. So let's say I go here for this is billionaires. Come on, baby. Read through from the United States. So this is going to basically go to another page with the United States filter. You see meet our billionaires in the United States and say, OK, this is what I want to filter by the United States. I don't want to filter the entire report. I just want to let's say that you're in a product team, right? And you want to share with your specific product because you're talking with your team about that product. So you don't care about the other products. So you say here and then you go to your person that you're talking to or your team. And then here you're supposed to write something. I can't write anything. I don't know why you are supposed to say, say something, you know, you're supposed to write. I can't, but you probably, I don't know if you say it, let, let me share anyhow. Again, it takes you to know where it should take you here, in my opinion, to know where you are sharing it. This is a, the shared version. If we click on it, you're going to see that this is a filter version that is filtered by the United States. You'll see in just a second. Do you see here country name is United States. So you can actually filter a report, a share a report on teams with the filters applied, which is quite neat. And last but not least comments, you know, again, chatting teams allow you to chat on teams. But you are like you can chat on a thousand reports in one shared chat, not so user friendly. I didn't imagine this would be like integrated like this. But if you go here to comment, you are going to see the comments that people have done on this particular report. And that is what it starts to become a little bit more useful. So everybody that goes into here and see this report and comment, you will see the comments. And probably that's why the best integration for Power BI still for me is the one that you have a Power BI report in here. And then you use the comments function to talk about this report. So if you go in here, you can go into the comments in there and then here you can start chatting it like great report. Um, whatever, you know, the need I, I haven't been able to see like because I know that with comments, you can comment on a specific uh, tile, but I think it, that's just available for tiles. So, for example, if we go in here, let me show you. I'm going to show you the dashboard. So here we have come on, baby. So here we have a dashboard and here you can comment. This is a comment for the entire dashboard, but oh, go back. But this is a comment for a visual, a, 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 that table, this table that you see here. And you can see that by that symbol, a spotlight for the title. So it, it, it gives a better experience when commenting. You cannot do this with reports, which is a pity. So yeah, there, there is a lot of possibilities. But again, just to summarize. Add the Power BI thing. Well, I would add it just because it will allow you to search for things on Teams. It will allow you to search for reports when chatting. So if you go, for example, here and then you say, oh, I want to chat about or we're discussing about this month's sales because they went up or down, then you can go in here and again, you can search by Power BI or you can search by Power BI up here. And that is quite a neat thing. It will bring your data closer to the user. So that's where I think that this should work. Uh, but uh, the whole embedding of Power BI, the commenting needs a little bit of work, in my opinion. So you can actually do true comments on just a tile, like get a snapshot of it and comment on a chat. Um, but it needs a little bit more work, but this is a great, great, great start. So give it a go and or if you have given it a go already, let us know what you think on the chat, on the, on the chat, on the comments. OK, guys, so this is all for today. I will see you again on Wednesday. If you want to know more about what was an announced on Ignite for Power BI, I have a video here. 
Uh, otherwise, you just uh, enjoy your day. And I will see you again on Wednesday. Bye-bye.